All right, and I'm joined by John and Roger now. Guys, thank you so much for being with me this evening. How are we? Awesome. Doing great. <laughs> thank you so much for being with us. I mean, the turkey trot here in Detroit is one of its greatest traditions, and you guys have been running it for 38 years. That is crazy. Tell me, why is this race so important to you guys? Why is this tradition so great? Yep, we we would uh, make a whole day of it, really. We We'd get down there six o'clock in the morning, Roger would stake out a spot on Woodward for the parade that the group of us would run, go into Copa Hall, get our goodies, change, and then run to our spot to watch the parade. So we were there from 7 a.m. till one, two o'clock in the afternoon. As we ran down Woodward Avenue and came back in front of the Fox Theater, I would always stop and give the boys a hug, give my wife a hug, and then I would give them a little gift from Santa. Uh, and that oh. became sort of like an exciting time, but the crowd as it is still today was just immense. And in front of the Fox Theater, it made it even harder to try to find the family, even though when they got there at 5.30 in the morning, there was nobody there and they had blankets all staked out. That's such a, I mean, that's what makes Thanksgiving so great, right? Is that you're able to spend time with your family. I mean, after 38 years, I mean, do you, does the rest of your family still come and watch you guys race? Does the tradition still live on? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's, no, no. They 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 reached a certain age where getting up at six a.m. in the morning is not not their forte. <laughs> For us, it's a natural. We just we just get up, we go down there, and we run, and we uh, we have fun afterwards. And and it's it's uh, it's just Roger and I now. Everybody stays home. And after uh, thirty eight years, you guys haven't gotten sick of each other. That's impressive. Oh. <laughs> no. Nah, nah. John is a much more serious runner than me. I'm more of a person that just likes to run for fun and relaxation. Well, tell me tell the last time you trained for this race, Roger. When was the last day? Get, get this. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, when was the last day? I, my, my training consists of about three days before the turkey trot <laughs> just to get my body back in sync. And then after that, I figure I don't want to overtrain. <laughs> <laughs> you just pick it up like that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think so, but. He's always Go stopping ahead. and handing out candy to the kids, stopping and giving high fives. and. Oh, yeah. Is there one specific memory that has really stood out to you over the 38 years? Roger, I see you laughing. There's probably one that comes to mind. Um, <laughs> can you, can you oh, share John, with us? I'm sure he's thinking of the exact same thing that I am. The police were. Uh, obviously lead the, the runners and the, oh, lead, yeah. the lead car went down <laughs> a dead end street, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. You have thousands of thousands of runners going down a dead end street. Oh no. And yeah. everything comes to a complete halt. And you're all like, well, where do we go? <laughs> and then to try to get around a cluster of just bodies just on top of each other. And you're just moving your feet like, what do we do? And everybody's trying to tell everybody, turn around, turn around. It was hysterical. Like a comedy of errors, just like the, some of the Three Stooges would do, you know? Right. That's what it reminds me of. I can only imagine how they got you guys back on yeah. track. but. I mean, there's so many great memories. There's so many traditions that come with this race. Unfortunately, with the, this year, obviously, it's going to be different. But how great is it that they're still able to put this race on for you guys? Um, I mean, it's incredible, right? Fantastic. I'd like to see what kind of total numbers they get, how many participants really uh, go out of their way to keep the tradition going. Maybe there's others that are right behind us and how many years they've participated. And they're going to continue their traditions, too, which is good right. to see. These people give so much of their time to make the turkey trot what it is. It just takes a lot of pride. And uh, the city is always shining, but that morning with the Thanksgiving Day Parade, uh, I just draw a tear in my eye because it just brings back so many wonderful memories. And uh, the city has so much to be proud of. Running the race wasn't the important thing to me, and finishing it isn't. It's just the atmosphere and the electrifying yeah. thing. Seeing all the families together and having that, you know, joy that you see in people's faces. And, and seriously, even, I mean, the police, what they do, and all the other 
people that make that day happen, it, it, it's it's magical. There's no doubt about it. Well, yeah. gentlemen, I'm I'm so excited for you guys. What an incredible tradition for you and your family. And I'm glad that you guys are able to continue that this year despite all the COVID stuff. So thank you so much for being with me. It was a pleasure. And, uh, and good you. luck at the race. Thank you. Very, very much. It was our pleasure.